Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, the original. And we are here with the Curse of the Frankenfish missions. Now, the current mission we are on is the uh, Mudwater Dendrospoon mission. Let me come over here and take a look. And this one, you have to go to Mudwater River, and you have to catch tree bark and put them in the backpack. And from that, you make a dendro spoon. And from that, we're supposed to catch some kind of monster fish with that specific lure. Now, I've already managed to get four tree barks. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Anywhere you could see some wood or trees like this right here or over here, you will get the bark. You might occasionally get a branch. But most of the time you'll get the bark. Let me see if we can get this last piece of bark here. Nope. Yeah, this may try a few tries. Sounds like the dogs are playing again. Uh, every time I try to record. They're acting up. But anyway, usually when I cast right between here. You don't often get snagged on this. And it's kind of strange actually trying to get a snag. Ah, shoot. Didn't get any that time. Might try over there by the other <coughs> wood pile or whatever that's on the side of the thing. Well, I can't. Usually I'm getting snag. I usually get snags there. Let's try over here this time. <laughs> See if we can't get one over on this side. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to move around a little bit. You might hook into something. There we go. We got something, but we didn't get anything. Darn it. I'm trying to snag it. That's kind of weird. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Now I can't even try to get one. Let's try on this side. Maybe we can hook this log right here and get something. It seems like it would make sense if I were to drag it right across there. It would hook onto something. There we go. Okay, this might be it, guys. Yep, there we go. That's the last piece of bark. All right. Now we have the Mudwater Dendro Spoon. Great work. You got the Dendro Spoon and now ready to hunt for the Dendro Fin. So it's this thing here. That's kind of a vicious looking critter. Alright. So we're still going on with that. Alright guys. We have got our new lure is called it's got a it's a one half ounce so it's kind of small for this rod it's supposed to be too light but we may not have any trouble here let me go ahead and get back to the missions here I don't think I've got this tracking right at the moment let's see yes we want to track it okay looks like we just need to catch one of these. Eats only in the middle of the day and night for one hour only. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we need to advance time a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, that makes sense. So we'll take it to noon. Alright guys, we're going to try a different location here. I'm going to come over here. And try from this side. I've almost had them bite, but nothing's quite latched on yet. I don't know if there's a specific location for these guys, but I have tried every good spot over there, and nothing is latched on. So I'm going to try on this side for a while. Okay. 
Aha! We got something here. Ah, another chain bag roll. Dang on it. This is our last try, guys. I have been literally, no joke, trying to catch this fish for more than two hours real time. And I cannot get this guy to bite. I have tried everywhere that I can think of. I've caught chain pickerel, I've caught grass pickerel. Well, it's too late now. It's not going to bite. Well, guys, I tell you what. We're going to keep... We're going to move on. We may have to come back to this one. I don't think you have to do this in order, from what I understand. So, we're going to go away from this place for a little while. As you can tell, I'm a little bit frustrated. Because I did everything I was supposed to do, but I've heard this is a pain in the butt to complete for some reason. I don't know why. But why don't we go to the very next lake and try to get the Emerald Frankenbait? Because here we're just catching different stuff. Catch four different species of pike that can be found in Emerald Lake to make a unique cut bait that will be irresistible to the fine dining preferences of the bloodthirsty vengeful pike slasher. Alright, we're gonna track this one. Let's try this one guys. Cause, you know, we got better things to do than waste our time with that nonsense. Alright, let's see. Let's travel here. Looks like the first one we need to catch is a chain pickerel. And I know how to catch them, guys. Alright, let's go fishing. Now we gotta go we gotta go over here first. Frankenbait. So we got to catch a red fin pickerel, grass pickerel, chain pickerel, and a northern pike. Not necessarily in that order, but it would be nice. First of all, let's go ahead and get our gear set up for these guys. Let's get something a little bit better than this. Let's get the, uh, let's see. We've got the one and a half ounce spoon. That's a four out. Let's see if we got something better here. Three foot crankbait would be good too. Plus we've got a number of other things we can fish with here. Let's see, we got the fire phoenix set up here. Let's go ahead and change this up a little bit. So that goes up to 20. So we'll put this braid on there. I'll keep that. Actually, I think I'm going to put a different bobber on there. Let's put the chubby bobber. And I think I'm going to put a two odd hook. put some shiners on there and then we'll take this to about 40 inches let's come over to the end of the dock and I used to really get these guys right over here but 
this is where I'm casting guys I don't know if you can see that little thing right there but you cast right here and you can get some chain pickerel we'll get them out of the way first if we can alright guys I went ahead and fast forwarded time to the peak period because I know that we can probably do better with this if I start off on this leg the chain pickerel usually bite right over here just has to float down there it goes okay Increase the tension up here a little bit. And there's our chain pickerel, as promised. Now, over here, in these little areas like right here, that's excellent spots to go for these northern pike it doesn't say if it has to be young or unique or trophy or anything of the sort just has to be a northern pike It looks like there's activity over there pretty good, but well, that's not the right one. Is it this one? Yeah. Now I'm going to put half ounce tiger spoon. That should do it. Now we got activity over there, so we should get something there we go we got something here and there's our young northern pike Now the red fins and the grass ones tend to be over in this area. So let's use this same lure, the 1 fourth ounce. See if we can't attract them from over here. There we go, we got something here. Ah, yellow perch. That is always a possibility. Well, we could try this old favorite. I used to catch a lot of things off of this. Don't know if they still go for it, but it used to be the lift and drop did it, but oh boy, I'll probably get a snag on this one, but There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Trophy grass pickerel. Not bad. 
Not bad. So we just got to get the ever elusive red fin pickerel. We're going to come over here and see if we can't run this along all of this. Might increase our chances of getting one. Yeah, this is the Red Devil. Delacaba always called this his secret weapon. He said, in real life, these things are pike killers. And the bass like them too. That was always a risk. Calculated risk. There we go. We got something. Did you see them take that? And there he is. Red fin pickerel. <laughs> He's a nice one too. All right, so now we have the emerald frankenbait. Great work! You got frankenbait and now ready to hunt for the pike slasher. Okay, so we're back to that. Now it's going to keep pulling this up. But it looks like I have got to go back to the missions, set this up to track. So it looks like I need to equip a frankenbait on telescopic or match rod, float rod, and then catch the monster. Hmm. So look at that. You could easily apply for Master Chef contest with the delicious frankenbait you prepared out of a variety of freshly cut pike meat. But let a true expert be the judge of that and try catching the ferocious pike slasher 22 pound using this yummy delicacy as bait. No doubt this vengeful pike hungry monster will give your cooking the highest score. So you get two gold, 22.45 cash. I have no idea where these guys are going to be found. So let's see. This should, either this one, no, I would say this one will probably do the trick. What size hook do I have on here? Two out, let's go down just a, well, maybe a little. Yeah, let's go to number two. And then we're going to go down here to the bait. And there's the Franken bait. Pike places, huh? Okay. I was wondering. Well, the pike places have always been over here, where I was earlier. This happens to be one of them right here. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch for movement. And we'll see if we can't. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Activity. I hope the hook isn't too small, but I'm kind of guessing on that one. There seems to be a lot of activity there, though. 
Alright guys, we have been fishing for quite some time in quite a few places where the pike can be found. And so far, this is the first place I've seen where they've been biting consistently. Saw a big splash out here. Now if you notice, it's 4.50. It didn't really start biting till 4 a.m. And they were biting fairly well at 9 a.m., but nothing would latch on. But he seems pretty serious about it this time. I've literally been at this for about two hours, guys. No joke, trying to find these guys. This is this takes time. But I tell you, 9 a.m. and 4 a.m. seems to get it. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Finally. And he is not going to be an easy guy to get in. Yeah, I had it out there right to the very right part of that lily pad patch. And 36 inches. I've got a number two hook. The two lot just seemed to be too big. They just couldn't get latched on for some reason or another. And he's going to give me quite the fight here. Damn. This is 20 pound test, guys. This is not Mickey Mouse line. But yeah, it took me quite a while to find these guys. I couldn't get a single bite in the daytime. Now, maybe other people can, but I didn't have any success with it. And I only got a couple of places where I got any bites. Nothing else would even try. Well, it's going to be hard to get him in. Damn. I'm not going to be working this long just to lose this guy. That's, mm, come on. He got him, guys. He He's coming. He's got, There he is. Oh, another ugly cuss. <laughs> there he is, guys. And it's morning. <laughs> Not a moment too soon. Yeah, I might not have caught anything if it had been just a few minutes later. 2031 cash, 22.304 pounds. Nice little snap. I think I'll get a wide shot of us. Alrighty. He's a good size one. Okay, maybe I can get in the light here. That's better. That's better. Now let's see if we can turn this rig see his face. I don't know what's with all the bloody area part of him. I guess it's just part of the make what makes him a monster, right? Yeah, I think this is gonna be the snapshot there that we're gonna use. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet classic so until then guys always remember aim straight cast far and have fun and i will see you later bye bye